Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome back. I hope you all are doing really well. I am doing okay. We are going to be diving back into... Wait, where'd it go? Come on. Come on. Um, there you go. We'll be diving back into Tomb Raider Tuesdays uh, with uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider over here, and you can see it right right here in the corner. Come on, right, 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 right there. <laughs> um... Anyway, uh, we'll be probably finishing it tonight. I'm pretty sure we'll be finishing it tonight. Um, I hope it'll take the whole stream. <laughs> but anyway, um, we'll figure it out if it doesn't. Um, maybe I'll play something else. I don't know. Uh, if, but anyway, uh, yeah, so before we get properly started, um, I have a Patreon. Um, so if you want to support me in a, hold on a second, what is, one moment, <laughs> hold on. There we go. Sorry about that, y'all. I knew something was off and I couldn't quite place it. Uh, um, anyway, uh, yeah, anyway, so Patreon. Uh, dot com slash crimson knight if you want to support me in addition to being a viewer uh, and you can go there and do so um, if not that's perfectly fine I won't hold it against you um, but uh, at the very least you should check out the link tree link tree slash crimson knight which in addition to having a link to my patreon it also has a link to my socials my discord um, my twitch which is where I'm currently at hello and my YouTube, which is where my VODs, the VODs of my streams go a week after they stream. Um, and in fact, actually, if you're watching this on YouTube, hi guys! I greatly appreciate y'all. Uh, please hit that like button, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, you know, you know, all the usual stuff that you have to do over on YouTube uh, to support the people you follow and whatnot. Um, but uh, yeah. Please do all of that. Th please check that out. Do all those things if you're on YouTube. Say hi to me in chat if you twi on Twitch or Lurk. It's whatever. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah. Um, can't think of anything else. So. Uh, let's, uh, do I have any announcements? Uh, I have decided on what I'm doing next. If, if we do finish, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider tonight, I have decided what we're doing next. Um, I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna announce it yet, but, uh, basically I have a list of priority things. Um, if I'm able to get my hands on the... What's it called? on the Tomb Raider remasters slash remakes or whatever they are, uh, the Tomb Raider trilogy remaster stuff, then I am absolutely going to be trying them out. Um, but and continuing Tomb Raider Tuesdays. Uh, if I can't get my hands on them yet, that's OK. Um, and we'll do them eventually. Uh, there's also the Tomb Raider DLC on Dead by Daylight that I want to give a shot, um, but I haven't really touched Dead by Daylight, like, at all. I've been meaning to. It's been on my list. I just, I have had so much other stuff. Um, so I might do, I won't do it regularly. I won't be like every Tuesday I come in here and play Dead by Daylight. It would be a, I do it once because Lara, you know, kind of a thing. Um, maybe, maybe, I, maybe I'll play it with Matt sometime. Um, Matt Melador. 219 uh who's actually streaming currently if you want to check him out um actually hold on i do this there we go yeah check him out he great he a friend of mine um <laughs> to quote the bot the new bot i have hawk Melodor 219, a noble gamer on a quest through digital realms. They've braved the elven city and sought vengeance with a with a side of fishing, with a heart for chill vibes and dead by daylight thrills. They offer bean boozles as tribute for their to their loyal fellowship. 
join the adventure where Pokemon and Perilous De Dead by Daylight matches await. Uh, three subs and a bean await thee. <laughs> oh god, I love this spot. But yeah, check him out. Uh, he's great. He's currently streaming at the exact moment we're talking, so maybe, uh, maybe next week or so I'll see if he's up for doing a crossover for DVD. Um, or not. I don't know. I, I, I intend to take, like, active, make an active effort to get into Dead by Daylight this week. In fact, I'm actually going to make a note for myself. So I don't forget. Um. Into Dead by Daylight. Okay. Um so yeah. The uh so yeah, that that's possible where I might do an occasional Dead by Daylight where I'm playing as Lara or something for Tomb Raider Tuesdays. Um or there's the remakes the remasters I might get my hands on uh and play them on stream. Um but if neither of those are feasible and slash or the uh the what I like I'll probably do the Dead by Daylight thing occasionally like I said um but then around that on Tuesdays what I'm, what I'm most likely going to be playing is something not Tomb Raider related at all um and the process and the, the reason for that is because I have hopes and plans of things that I'm trying that I would love to put into uh motion um that are greater than just playing tomb raider games online but it's going to take a lot of effort and stuff and it won't it's not something i could do by myself um but uh yeah that's all i'm going to say about that for now um as well as all i'm going to say about the futures of tomb raider tuesdays um what we might end up doing Worst comes to worst, Tomb Raider Tuesdays is on indefinite hiatus, basically. Um, until either a new Tomb Raider game comes out or I get my shit together. <laughs> One of the two. Uh, but anyway. Anyway. None of that is today's problem. Because today, we're fin we're po probably going to be finishing off Tomb Raider, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. So, uh, yeah. Enough of my dilly-dallying. Um, let's get back to it. All right, and on exclusive full screen so that I can actually not have to worry about my mouse dipping off screen like it does occasionally. All right, hi, YouTube. Okay. And hello. Hello, lady. Thank you again name. for all you have done. Perhaps we'll share in the next adventure. Probably not, considering this is the end of the of the trilogy. Oh, the next adventure? You mean the rest of the game? Maybe. Hmm, maybe. I hadn't thought about that. Point of no return. After speaking with Etsy, fast travel will be disabled until the story campaign is complete. Are you ready to take on Kukul Khan? Hail. Bucking, yes. How is the plan coming together, Atsley? We have options. Would you? Kukulkan's army will follow the Sakpe to the Great Stone Bridge to reach mm -hmm. the pyramid. If we approach them head on, we have the best chance to intercept them, but we could easily be overwhelmed. If we go in this way, it'll be more secure, but our timing would have to be perfect. Or they'd slip through our fingers. Can we do both? If we approach head on, I can go around the other way and act as a sniper. They'd be trapped. No approaches without risk, but I believe this is the best option. Good. Then, on your order, gather the troops. 
Sorry, microphone. Sorry, sorry to those who would just who are on the microphone. Hopefully that didn't come through too loud. I'm trying to kill a bug. This is where we park. Your path lies that way. Lara. I want you to hack this. For luck. Etsy, I can't. After today, the Eclipse will no longer represent us. We keep the sun, but you remove the shadow. Thank you. Jonah. You too, little bird. <laughs> All right, so real quick, before Petsy we gave me half of Unaratu's eclipse amulet, I get the moon and he kept the sun. I suppose this means he expects to remove the darkness over Paititi. Tall order. I hope I don't let them down. Alright, so before I forget, I wanted to quickly check. Okay, 100%, 100%, 100p, 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 100p. Get off of it. And OP. All right. Oh. And the city of the serpent is 103%. Okay. Yep. All right. Onwards we go. One moment. Uh, hi, Queen. Long time no see. Welcome to the stream. My friend, the Queen, has joined the stream, uh, is watching the stream, uh, and is chatting to me through Discord. Um, she says she's currently watching the stream. Uh, she caught some of last night's too. That looks like Egypt. Yes, yes. Last night was Egypt. Uh, we we were playing uh, Assassin's Creed Origins, which which entirely takes place in Egypt. Uh, as for this stuff, it's very Mayan because we're in South uh, Mayan, Aztec, uh, Inca and the like, because we're down in South America. Specifically, um, actually, specifically, we are in, dude, that was Cozumel, Peru. We're specifically in Peru. Yeah, both locations are awesome. Unbelievable. Jonah! 
I made it. I see the bridge. And also, Shit. of course. Uh, they blew the bridge. We'll find another way around. Okay. Do you see that red smoke? Yeah. I'm gonna check it out. Uluratu said that the crimson fire was her destiny. Okay. Don't take too long. Uh Commander, and of course Trinity is at war. Good. Team leaders coordinate with vehicular support. Cardinal two <laughs> near their eyes. Copy that. Remember, people, any structural opening is a potential enemy vector. Yeah, currently yes, Trinity is at Is at war with the locals, which are the Yashio. Which are those creatures in their background over there. Shield. And there's more Yash Shield. I missed. Of course I missed. When the crimson fire smokes, seek your mirror. Was this Unaratu's destiny? You're the Crimson Fire. I think we're supposed to work together to defeat Kukul Khan. Before that gets much further, I want to read the uh, ad bot thing. Um, attention, coming soon to a chat near you. 
In a world of digital adventure, Crimson Knight Gaming shines bright on Tomb Raider Tuesdays. The chat lo chat's alive with noble shoutouts to Melador219, the uh, braving DBD thrills and elven chills. From vengeance to fishing, they seek. Meanwhile, links unlike the uh, links. Meanwhile, links unite like a fellowship in stream elements realm. Will you join the quest? God, I love this. All right. Uh... giving orc vibes it is giving orc vibes i was thinking goblin but yes orc as well Jonah, change of plans i'm bringing reinforcements what i hope you know what you're doing me too commander we have eyes on croc he's with the shield she's white don't get distracted take her out I would like to point out, though, that while they are absolutely giving Goblin vibes, I think they are actually human. It's just that they are an iso a very extremely isolated tribe, essentially, that exists completely separately from any, th any other human tribe at all. And so thus just seems incredibly alien to us and a lot of their traits kind of seem monstrous to that degree i think i think i don't remember if they officially say one way or the other about whether or not they're actually human i don't recall um but based off of how they look and how these show th these shows these games tend to be um they they are more likely human than not, in my opinion. Um, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Queen says it was the whole scene of working in the steam and those tools. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the tools, the outfits, the way a lot of them stand and crouch and hun hunker down almost. It's very... It gives animal, you know, it give it, it's given a bit animal. Um, and uh, the reason and so like, again, if you are a tribe of humans that have grown, have 
existed and lived in complete and utter isolation from other humans, you look and experience and grow with that which you're familiar with, which would be the rest of the animal world around you. Um, Queen asks, so is the Crimson Fire human or supernatural? I don't remember. Uh, I don't I don't remember if they say one way or the other. Um, there is a lot of there is a lot of supernatural in this. Um, like we are literally about to go stop the actual genuine supernatural end of the world. Um, it went to ads, so you missed some stuff. Yeah, so what you missed in the cutscene was Lara connecting some dots from the uh, story of the, of, of the from the experiences she's had so far. Um, basically, the Queen Unuratu of the uh, tribe that she's been working with, um, not this tribe, a different tribe, uh, not the Yashil, a different tribe entirely. Um, that queen who died, um, she uh, had this destiny of meeting and working with uh, her basically there's this whole whole big prophecy about if the end of the world comes this is what you do kind of thing and what you do is you seek your mirror uh when the crimson fire burns seek your mirror or something like that and so a lot of that cutscene was lara connecting the dots of what the myth and the prophecy had to what she was seeing in front of her. Um, and what she was seeing in front of her was the Crimson Fire uh, chick. Um, and uh, the two of them had an exchange of uh, in relation to um, a story of deities in uh, the deities of Ishel and Shakshal. Uh, Isha, Ishel and Shakshel, um, which I, if I remember correctly, are siblings, like twins, and are like, I don't think that they're the, the gods for the sun and the moon, but I think they're like the the equivalent of like opposite, you know, one equals one thing, the other equals the opposite kind of a thing. Um, I could be wrong. I, I don't remember for sure. It, it's stuff that they've been drip feeding you throughout the whole the whole game by this point, and it's been so long for me between all the other games I'm I've been playing and uh, fifteen episodes of this that it, it's been so long that I don't recall offhand right now. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. As for whether or not this person that we are no that is known as the Crimson Fire is human or supernatural, I don't re remember if we're actually told. Um, there are absolutely supernatural elements, as I said, because this is absolutely the genuine, actual, supernatural end of the world that has been put into motion by uh, Lara's choices and actions at the beginning of the game. Um... And she's been spending the whole game trying to make up for it and fix it. Uh, and but it so like it's possible that the that the Yashil are actually like this uh, supernatural non human inhuman kind of uh, deity like 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 uh, I don't want to say monster but like. Um, these supernatural beings from outside of our human world that cross over with us because and we work alongside each other and stuff like that. Uh, the concept of a mirror, for example. Um, I don't recall if they are actually supernatural or if they are actually human or not. Um, I do think that we get an answer, at least in some form or another, but I don't recall for certain. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that, that's more or less what you missed and the answer to your question as, as what we know at the moment.
So, so just to talk about the line that we just had over voice uh, voice over there. This is Commander Rourke. The entire High Council is here to oversee our victory. Right. So, Trinity, which has been the villains throughout the whole game theory, trilogy, for the most part, uh, they weren't originally, from my understanding, originally they weren't intending for this game to be the final of the series. They weren't like uh, they wanted a resolution, but they did for the storyline of the first three games and stuff. But they were planning on continuing within this world, and so they weren't going to wrap up wrap up Trinity. From my recollection of things I've read, um, but because of studio choices and things like that, they decided they did decide in the end to this was that this was the end of the Trinity trilogy. Um, and so they then had to come up with a reason why, uh, a reason how Trinity would no longer be a threat after this game. <laughs> and, uh, how do we do that when we have established that they are an international organization with, uh, numerous heads and different groups and, you know, if you a very Hydra esque, cut off one head to more grow in its place kind of thing. Um, well, how do you fix that? Well, you have the entire leading body of the organization get arrogant enough to show up at a place where their greatest enemy is at on the off chance that they have this great big victory that happens. Yeah. <laughs> so, like... For the record, I'm pretty sure the Yashiel can die. I don't know about the leader, the crim the Crimson Fire chick. I don't know about her, but I know that the Yashiel can die because I've been killing them off and on in a few places. Because they, when they first show up, they're scared. They scare the shit out of Lara. Don't realize that Lara is important and uh, are uh, are uh, aggressive and antagonistic to her for a bit. So she kills them in self defense. But that doesn't necessarily mean they're not supernatural. Also, since uh, since you haven't exactly been able to follow along this whole time because you've been busy and haven't been catching my stream, that's okay. Quick recap. This Dominguez guy in the green uh, also goes by the name Kukul Khan sometimes, which is the name of one of the gods. Yeah, it's very much this whole thing of, you know what? My name is Jesus now, you know? Um, and I am the her person human personification of the, of the actual god that I that I have chosen the name of kind of a thing. Uh, he is a bit bonkers, just a bit. Um, but his goal is not that bad. 
Uh, his goal is essentially to pro like the core of his goal is to protect his people, which is the tribe of the uh, um, indig of the indigenous tribe that we've been working with. Uh, not the Ashil, the other ones, the one uh, Unuratu, Etsli, and them. Um, th that is his goal. However, in order, he has become convinced that in order to accomplish that, he must destroy the world and remake it in his image. Don't you love people like that? That's just great, isn't it? Yeah. So, here we are. Then with you? This ritual is mine to complete. They've chosen wrong. It's all wrong. No, it was always theirs. Give us the box. No, no, never. I must protect by deed. We all create destiny. Not just you, all of us, together. Now, I will say, I do have some feelings about the choices they made to make the uh, big bad leader of Trinity uh, to be who, he, who they reveal him to be in this game, Dominguez, uh, who is the overall leader of Trinity. Uh, it's just he also has a high council that he works with. Um, he's the one who gave the order for Lara's father to be executed, etc., etc., assassinated, not executed. Um, so on and so forth, etc., etc. Because of course he did. Um, but I have feelings about why about their choice to make him that, make him this versus what they had done in the previous two games, which was make Trinity essentially this like hyper like Christian crusade. Tri uh, Templar-esque organization that believes that only they know the truth and are so so driven by their faith in uh, their crusade that they are um, a problem basically um, that nothing else non-Christian is allowed to exist kind of a thing um, that was how they were portrayed in the previous two games. And then in this game, they do almost a w complete 180. And here's Trinity, who is this hyper, who on the outside is this hyper Christian organization working with a guy who believes in these, uh, in these, um, ancient non-Christian deities believes he is one of a reincarnation of one of these ancient non-christian deities and only cares about Paititi which is a 
lost hidden tribe of indigenous non-christian natives um it never it has never really sat right with me because it kind of reeks of oh well we can't really have the white people be the villain in this game in this game trilogy oh we can't really have christianity be the bad guys um you know like and to be fair it's not christianity it's trinity that's the bad thing it, it you know like with every organization it's the followers and the believers who take things and make them bad not the core of the thing itself necessarily being bad and i just feel like there was a very nuanced uh, like a very nuanced and important message that they could have relayed but instead they decided no 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 it must be this non-christian thing and this uh that's just been using this this christian organization and of crusaders and uh the real bad guys are the non-white people who have have this these crazy beliefs kind of a thing and i feel like a big part of why that choice was made is because during the creation of this game the the development team what had was abruptly changed by uh the overarching production company um and like obviously that's not the only sign of that there is a lot of things and i've talked about them on previous streams uh where the, the like there's things that you're like oh that's obviously not fully like it, it's obviously feels different because it doesn't quite mesh with the rest of the game um or it's uh the, or the rest of the trilogy um or it's uh something doesn't quite work right and it's because it was an idea they came up with at the last minute uh and didn't really have time to properly imp implement it type of thing because of how short their schedule was because of the production company and stuff like that um it's uh the handling of the the overall handling of this of the creation of this game is very tragic and very heartbreaking for anybody who loved the other two games uh in this trilogy but i still think that it's a good game it could have been phenomenal uh, if Square Enix hadn't messed with it, hadn't, you know, reassigned the team that had been working on it. Now, that said, the team that had been working on it came out. They were they had been assigned. They were assigned to another game series entirely uh, called Horizon Zero Dawn, which is also, by all accounts, an extremely, extremely phenomenal game series um and but it's just it so like that game like it's very good that that game series is out and exists it's just it's kind of tragic because the tomb raider trilogy now ends with this overall okay game you know like it has some really 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 amazing aspects and and story beats and stuff but overall it uh, it could have been better, you know? Also, hold on. Let me mess with the audio here. Um, because it's getting a bit hard to hear the, the dialogue sometimes. So let's... Yeah, let's do that. Did that take that took okay
yeah as as the guy on the voiceover just said uh rourke is his name uh trinity doesn't give a shit about Paititi. uh it just wants to create a world in its in its image and they're using dominguez to that end and like that tracks however it does still very much feel like he was the chosen villain because we couldn't have because heaven forbid we have the, the christian the the big corporate crusading christian organization be the actual villains you know like Still very loud, still struggling to hear the dialogue sometimes. Music, let's up the music a bit. Uh, let's lower the sound effects a bit more. There we go, that should help. Oh, dynamic range is mid? Oh, it's because it's headphones. Uh, Yeah, we'll go with that. I'm surrounded, out of ammo. No, please, no! no! Oh no, so sad. Jonah, Rock is dead. I'm going after Dominguez to stop the ritual. We'll hold them off as long as we can. All right. So, we have three skill points. Let us. Hmm. Let's do this one. Yes, we can hear you all having fun down there. Great. Carry on. Carry on the wayward Laura. This is Zeta Team. The High Council is being overrun. We need a. Oh, oh no, it's so sad. See, once again, the High Council gets mentioned. But never shown! From what I recall, they're not shown, like, at all. They, they're mentioned, they show up off screen, and then get killed off screen. In 1997, a daughter of a legendary musician took the reins as chief designer at the prestigious fashion house Chloe. Can you name her? Fall Find out when the ad is then.
darkness erase the world we have known. Let the shadow pass, and the light shine again on the world of our creation. So we need that and that. to release the energy trapped inside them. Making the world. Today we take control of our destiny. I thought you were smart.
can't match a god. <sighs> I have allowed you to live, Nara. No more. City is mine to protect, not yours! <laughs> Attack all you want, but Goku Khan will only make me stronger! Her treasure, the adventurer, Lara Croft, must have whipped the king. Have whipped the king? I think the king might have something to say about that. <laughs> my loves, will you hold still for a second? Uh, oh, yes, my white queen. One. One. <laughs> Can I speak? Of course. 
is you, and me, and your dad. Where are we? Hawaii. If this key and the seal are lost, we can remake the world without witness, fruit. If you had that power, what would you do? My brave girl, who is not expecting a Jaguar attack. Where shall we go next for our real adventure? I hear uh, the Antarctic is lovely this time of year. Dad! Oh no, I mean, uh, perhaps the salt flats of Utah. Oh, Richard. I know where we're going. You do? Hawaii! Oh, yes. Yes, that would be really nice. <laughs> well, in that case. Goodbye, Mum. Goodbye, Dad. When the catastrophes come, the god Kukulkan must be sacrificed to power the sun. Otherwise, the world dies. Sacrifice a god? The sacrifice is my duty. But if my training fails me, the crimson fire will guide me and hold me to my promise. I like this world. It's, it's not perfect. But everything I love now is in it. After today, the eclipse will no longer represent us. We keep the sun, but you remove the shadow. I'm protected. Uratu, my mother, a warrior, a rebel, a queen. She will be venerated for generations. I miss you. Now, we will heed her spirit to reunite my people. Thank you. So I'm head back to Kwakiaku tomorrow. Really? Missing the jungle? Off in search of the elusive fish tree? <laughs> uh, Abby and I are headed to the coast for a few days. 
I'm glad. <laughs> what about you? I think I'll stay here for a while longer. And uh, restore a few more artifacts? Fair enough. So what will you do? I don't know. Etsli will help me figure it out. He'll let me know what Paititi needs to rebuild. Wow. I'm done searching. I want to be around the living. All right. Don't you have to pack or something? <laughs> now you are stuck with me till tomorrow. <laughs> You're welcome to stay as long as you wish, Lara. Safe travels, John. Once Paititi is restored, perhaps I can join you and learn more about the world beyond Paititi. Anytime. You just say the word. You too, Uchu? If he wants to. So, Jonah, Lara tells me you have a girlfriend. Uh, uh, we will come to the wedding. And that's Shadow of the Tomb Raider. <laughs> and these people did it. They did an amazing job. It's just that, like, it's nothing against the dev team that they did end up ha being given to. Um, I They did the best they could. It's genuinely a they did the best they could with what they were given. Um, and it turned out much better than it could have. Uh, this could have been a lot worse for a game that went through that kind of a change up in the middle. However, I had it all wrong. I thought that taking control of my life meant venturing out to do something extraordinary. I thought I had to fix everything. But the mysteries of the world are to cherish more than to solve. I'm just one of their many protectors. I'm not sure what the future has in store, Jonah, but whatever adventure's on the horizon, I can't wait to meet it. I'll try not to take myself too seriously. Tea, Miss Croft. Lovely. For now, it just feels good to be home. However, we're not fully done. Because there is one last thing. If any, if you guys remember from last week, there was one last thing. Abby wanted to meet us at uh Abby wanted to meet us in Saint in uh Mich uh, Saint John's mi the mission of Saint John. That's the one. Um and oops i'm in the wrong menu uh this is the one i want wait hold on how am i doing on go points okay and uh we shall go do that and now that we're here, now I go into this menu and do what I was trying to do to put her into her modern day clothing. Actually, actually, because, hold on, do we want to put her in, like, her Croft out outfit? Like, do we want to, do we want to? Nah, let's, let's stick to the game actual, the actual game outfit. Give way no can 
Right, stopping by the store because why not? Seguro puedo ayudarla. Uh, we do have some uh, that that we can sell. Let me max out my arrows, buy some ammo, because we very much we very much emptied our our. Uh... Oh, I'm out of money. Okay, fair enough. Uh, well, let's see here. We don't need any more of these. Seguro estará satisfecha. We don't need any more of these. Buen trato. Excuse me. Seguro estará satisfecha. Uh, we don't need any more of these. Es un buen trato para don't ambas. need any more of these. Seguro estará satisfecha. Don't need any buen more trato. of these. More of these. Seguro estará satisfecha. Es un buen trato para ambas. These, we do need those, and we do need those. Okay. Buen trato. Seguro estará satisfecha. There we go. Es un buen trato para ambas. Buen trato. Seguro estará satisfecha. There we go. Un placer hacer yeah. negocios con usted, señorita. Now let's quickly. We have time to kill. It's only 8.30. We're gonna run over here. Where I can actually draw my weapon. All the way over here. Right? Yep, okay. And we are going to... Out of that. Are we out of this? No. Alright. So I need some more oil. Um, okay. It's fine. Alright. It's fine as is. Alright. It's good enough. We have enough ammo now. Because, <laughs> again, kind of exhausted my supplies at in that final fight there. Um, Alright. Abby, there she is. How was your coastal weekend with, uh, with, uh, Jonah? After speaking with Abby, fast travel will be disabled until the mission is complete. Are you ready to leave Marianne, to live Mariana's dream? Yes. Hey, good to see you. Lara. I see everybody's been introduced. How did you get here? Our allies in battle, the Ashil, have vanished from Paititi. But they left a trail I was able to follow. It led me here. That's what Mariana's vision was about. Why I asked you to meet me here. <coughs> you think the Ashil are in trouble? I don't know. That's where you come in. According to Grandma, you and the Yashil have some kind of... Special connection? Yes. Then it rests on you to find out what happened. I'll do what I can. <laughs> I told them you'd say that. The recent volcanic activity opened up a fissure in the ground. On the other side is some kind of tunnel. Linked to the Yashil somehow? Hmm. Maybe Andres Lopez wasn't as crazy as we thought. Either way, a hidden underground tunnel sounds like the perfect place to start. I expect the entrance nearby is for a minor tunnel connecting to a major one that runs all the way here from Paititi. The Ashil fought honorably. We owe them this much. You will succeed. I know it. This place sure has a lot of tunnels underneath it. I'd say I wish I was going with you, but... The Ashil... Creep me out. Good luck. The tunnel opening should be nearby. If the Yashil do need help, you're the best person for the job. Be safe. So, real quick. 
this area that we are currently in is the same location where Lara surfaced from the water after the whole uh, stages of the cross uh, tunnel thing with Jonah last week. Uh, she came out of the water uh, over here, I think, somewhere. Uh, it's probably not going to show me. But yeah, she surfaced and then like hid behind these pews and watched uh, Jonah and Dominguez and Trinity over there um, uh, as they took the box from Jonah, the silver box. But anyway. Yay for reusing locations that they already spent a lot of money on making. Hey, it works if it if it's, you know. Anyway. Well, this is probably the opening they're talking about. The old ye old glitchy grappling hook grappling grappling hook. English is hard, y'all. Impossible. I can't carry any more. Trinity, how did they get here? I mean, they probably never left. I can't believe we came here because of some document written centuries ago by a crazy guy. We're not here because of this doctor. Dominguez was telling the truth. Yes, Dominguez was indeed crazy. Admiral's log, the star, the chat's been buzzing with the regular scheduled, uh, the reg regular schedule update, making Crimson Knights, I mean Crimson Knight Gaming's noble voyages into Tomb Raider realm very t every Tuesday at 7 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Links to past adventures and a galaxy of social media platforms have been shared via the Linktree constellation. The crew is well connected and ready for another epic episode in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Oh god, I love this. I owe those guys an apology. We're salvaging the situation. Looks like there's some plans. Everyone was pessimistic. Things were going to shit. But nobody figured those creatures would still be around. <laughs> I love them bickering so much. Solve the puzzle, or we die. Simple as that. Three of them there. If I take you, come on, give me, give me one of them. Ah, it's not letting me pick them up. Fine, fine. Oh, there's four of them because there's that one over there too. Okay. Hmm. Oops. Come on, Lar, get out of the water. I love 
that the, none of them have fucking noticed the dead guy. Gonna. Oh, I don't have the stuff to do anything with him anyway, because I sold it all. That's right. This okay. Is it. We're dead. You know what? I believe there was more over here. No, over here. Okay. Alright, and up we go. Hey, what's that? guy on the other side of the thing and he just got blasted. Holy shit, Croft is here! Shooter! Shooter! Of course they have a minigun. Need to keep my head. Holy shit! Get to cover! Need a better position! Shoot me. He's gonna shoot through that wall. It's too exposed.
She's Good. so badass. That's the last of them. Kind of covered in blood there, Lara. All right, let's reload. All right. Okay. Oh, wrong button. I want this one. Ooh. Hmm. Well, when you had a bad day. <laughs> I didn't check over here. Is there something over here? Or is it just the dead end to the thing? It's just the dead end to the thing. Okay. Huh. Woo! Well, that's not something you expect to see deep underground in tunnels. These are notes the missionary took while he was in Paititi, at the resting place of the Silver Box. They describe a network of tunnels underground leading all the way from Paititi to here. Based on what Lopez found, he made calculations for overland travel, which is why he ended his travels at the Mission of St. John. He wasn't just digging the catacombs to hide the box. He was looking for these caverns. You're about to enter this tomb. Your current progression will be saved. Uh, maybe. Hold up. Is there anything else? No? Okay. Yes. door ornamented with Maya designs. That must be my destination. What do you saw? It proclaims that this shrine was built to honor Shakik, mother of the hero twins, creator of the silver box of Ishel and the key of Shakshel, and mother of their protectors, the Yashil. Those who have served Shakik with honor shall be granted the eternal reward of returning to their mother. It's fine. That's not where we need to go anyway.
This is ancient, far older than everything else in the area. There must be signifiers nearby which indicate how to open the central door. Those symbols, there must be a hint somewhere about which is the right one. The ceiling's lowering. Got to move. I can't reach that. Yet. This plate seems to control those spikes. There must be a way to open these gates. Come on, Lara. I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. There's a way to get these gates open. I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. Yes, Lara. Yes, Lara. I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. Working on it, dear. I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. <sighs> Those symbols, there must be a hint somewhere about which is the right one. Hmm. I didn't mean to do that. <clears throat> oh God. should be a way somehow to open these gates. Yes, Lara. <sighs> I'm on it, Lara. I'm sure there's a solution around somewhere. <clears throat> I'm sure there's a way to get these gates open. Working on it, Lara. Another symbol. This is getting interesting. It's only now getting interesting. Okay, Lara. Dead inside from adrenaline and pain. Should be a way okay. somehow to open these gates. Yes, dear. Working on it, dear.
one last symbol. Now to figure out how they work with the main gate. This one, I think. Yes. Yes. And yes. path leads deeper into the temple so that's where i'm going left or right let's go right Is incomplete. There must be a way to reposition the different parts of it. There must be a way to control the front of the statue. Working on it, dear. Working on it. Go this Two way first. New paths. Let's see where they lead. There must be a way to control the front of the statue. Working on it, Lara. My dear. This lever seems to be linked to the movement of the statue parts. Aha, here we go. Oh, that's a leg. Oh, it's one of these things, huh? Okay. I should have gone the other way first. There must be a way to control the front of the statue. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. There must be a way to control the front of the statue. You need to be properly reassembled. Yes. Okay. So, first things first. Let us pull that. Uh, 
Now the question is, which hand is that? I think that goes on the other side. Okay. So... Wait a second. Okay. Because we are still missing something. Um... What happens if I turn this this way? Ah, okay. What do you do? Aha! Okay. So, I think I'm getting a handle on this. Before we mess with it any further, I need to run to the bathroom. So, we're going to take a brief break. And I'm going to run an ad for about a minute, and I'll be back by the end of the ad. Don't go anywhere, y'all. Everybody, I'm back, and uh, thank you for bearing with me. Let's um continue. Okay, so when I push this in, that rotated and pulled everything with <laughs> with it. So there we go. Okay. Now, I need to move that leg forward, and that leg forward, and that arm forward. Alright. Come on. Where did this go? It looks climbable. Huh, whatever. Okay. Bring the leg forward. Oh, that's the wrong thing. Right. My bad. All right. Now pull. There we go. Now to the other. be a way to control the front of the statue we're working on it Lara we're working on it okay let's move this leg up couple more couple more pulls 
fight. Kuno Mox. Alright. And... Push. And... Pull. Oh, wait, no. I need to pull the arm down, too. The arm needs to be at the shoulder height. Good. The left arm and leg are in place. Like a normal person. Arms do not come out of people's ears, Jamie. Done it. Now I can go through the door. While on the run or in the thick of combat, craft more powerful ammunition using f fewer resources. Great. That, um, really helps me when I'm, uh, at the end of the game. Nah, it's, that one's primarily meant for you to use it in, um, New Game Plus mode. Some kind of... Gateway. The Yashil armor. I guess they didn't need it anymore. But where? They made it. They're all right. Everyone listen. The Yashil are fine. They completed the return to the heavens. The return to the heavens? That's what it's called. When the goddess Shakik created the silver box and the key, she also created the Yashil to be their guardians on this plane. Now that their duties have been carried out, they've gone back to their home. The Yashil served with honor. Their reward is to be reunited with their mother. Lara, is there an archway made of silver? Yes. According to the fresco, that's the door to the other plane. And now it's closed. Forever. That's consistent with Mariana's vision. It fills in all the blanks. Great. I'm on my way back. Lara. Yeah. Farewell. And there's the mask she wore. They knew she'd come find them. Laura, you're back. Thank you. Now that you've fulfilled your duty to the Yashir, what's next? With the cult defeated in Paititi, my work as her protector is done. Uchu will be Etsy's military council, and that frees me to explore the world outside, serving these adopted lands as my celestial sisters did for centuries. We're lucky to have you. So the Yashil are back home. That means everything's good now, right? <laughs> everything's great.
And what about you, Lara? Do you have any plans for the future? Not in this reality. So I hope that answered your question, uh, Queen, if you're still there. Um, they're not technically like they're not they themselves are not supernatural. Uh, but they were like humans were created by something by a god of some kind um, to but their purpose was to specifically protect the silver box and uh, the the, bo the knife and box of Ishel and Shakshel. Um, but now that now that though their their purpose has been fulfilled, the the Yashil are no longer bound to protect them, um, and complete that protect that ceremony and stuff. Um, so they have returned home. Essentially. Um, they're not necessarily supernatural in their own right, but yeah. Anyway. So yeah. That's it for Tomb Raider. The Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The eternal reward. All right. Ooh, I have skills. Skill point. Ah, I still only have two. Okay. Um, I still have two. If I really wanted to complete this, which I'm not gonna mess with this time around, like I've I've already one hundred p one hundred percent completed uh this game on my own, completed the skill tree and everything. Um, so, like, I'm, I'm not going to worry about getting all of the skills this time, um, but, uh, because it would take a bit of grinding. And I mean, we technically have the time for it, but it's not necessarily entertaining. Where is it? Nah, it's not. Um... So yeah, let's get her out of these muddy, nasty, bloody clothes and put her in... Oh, nope, still bloody. There we go, put her something more comfortable. <laughs> yeah, because that's exactly what you'd wear to, you know, the jungle. Um... I really like the tunic of the exiled fox. Like, I really like its design. Um, there she is. The real Lara. The angel of darkness, Lara. But now nah, we'll put her in something a bit more comfortable for her. I love how each outfit has its own variation of what bloody and muddy looks like so like on this one you can see how the blood is on her jacket and jeans and stuff and over here blood is different locations it's not just like smack like just smacked onto the outside of the model i like it varies depending on the outfit some outfits don't even show it like this one some show it in other places I love it. It's it's clever. It's really clever. But yeah. <laughs> She's going commit. No, I'm not gonna make that joke. I'm well I'm not gonna complete that joke at least. There she is from two from the Oh wow, even like even the texture and everything from the from Tomb Raider twenty thirteen. Damn, like, for real, even the texture on the face, that's wild that they did that. Instead of just putting her in the outfit. Tap 
National Adventurer. Black. Technically. Technically, it's also blue. But yeah. We're going to put her in this, and then she's going to go for a swim to get some of that blood off of her. We're going to take her to a swim, to a swim, to a swim. But first, we got to get there. Um... But yeah, that's it for Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I hope you all have enjoyed the uh, progression through the story and through the game as much as I have. Um, that's it for the the Survivor Trilogy, as it's called. Um, and unfortunately, well, for the most part, unfortunately, um... Well, no, rephrasing. And unfortunately, that's it for Tomb Raider Tuesdays, for the most part. Um, there's still Tomb Raider, uh, there's still the uh, Tomb Raider Trilogy remasters that came out while we were make going through this big old journey together. Um... So I could play those. Um, and I, I plan to play them eventually. I just need to get them. Um, and, uh, yeah, the, uh, there's, actually, hold on. Bear with me. Let me check. Oh, it opened over there. All right, so. Tomb Raider Remastered, there it is. It is currently $23 on Steam. Okay, I could potentially get that. And then next week play that. Um, could. Tempting. It is tempting. Um, but, uh, yeah. Um, Other than that, there's also Dead by Daylight, which I have. Oh, I'd have to purchase the DLC for that. That has the Tomb Raider. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. You know. Uh... I'd have to purchase those, that DLC. And I mean, again, that makes sense because it's a license thing that they have to get permission to use and stuff. Oh, I only need to. Oh, man, they have so many things for Dead by Daylight. Like, holy shit. So much. No wonder, no, like, just looking at the DLC list, I can see why Matt loves the game as much as he does. Um, Matt, again, being Melodor219. Um, is he playing this right now, or what's he doing up here? Yeah, he's actually playing it right now. Um, hmm. Hmm. Can't think. But no. Um, not right now, at least. Um... Yeah, prob most likely, most likely, what I'll be doing next time. Oop, my camera moved. Again. There we go. No wonder I'm feeling like I'm, like, sliding off the side of the frame. Anyway, um... What was I saying? Right. Uh... What I'm most likely going to be doing next week... Um is 
instead of Tomb Raider Tuesday, we're going to actually... Okay. All right, so here, here's the thing. So I mentioned before that the that Shadow of the Tomb Raider was... Actually, I think we might just end half an hour early. But anyway, sorry. Um, what was I saying? Right. Um, so Shadow of the Tomb Raider was originally being developed by the same team that had made Rise of the Tomb Raider and Tomb Ra and then Tomb Raider 2013. Same people, same, you know, etc., etc., etc. Um however, uh because Square Enix wanted to create uh Horizon Zero Dawn, they um they took the team that was working on Shadow of the Tomb Raider and decided to uh, ha give them Horizon Zero Dawn and have Shadow of the Tomb Raider finished by another group entirely. Um, so, Horizon Zero Dawn is the game that came out uh, made by the team that was supposed to have made this game. So, yeah, the, uh, oops, there we go. So yeah, the, um, so I, so what I'm going to definitely do next week is we are going to play, uh, we are going to start playing Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, if I can find it in my list. Oh, do I not have it installed currently? I, that, that doesn't matter. Um, that's why I want this here. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. There she is. Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, so... Yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what we're going to be starting next week is we're going to be starting Horizon Zero Dawn, which I am excited for because I've been wanting to play it for a while and I just have been putting it off because I kind of wanted to do it on stream because for the first time ever. So. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I have the Horizon Zero Dawn Complete Edition. So we'll be playing that for the first time. Um, I love Ashley Birch. She's one of my favorite actors. Uh, one of my favorite voice actors. Um, and she's freaking amazing. Uh, and hilarious. Um, she also voices Tiny Tina in Borderlands. In the Borderlands series. Um, but... Uh, yeah, we're going to, next week, we're going to check out Horizon Zero Dawn and see if I think it's up, if I think it's as hype as uh, everyone else thinks it does, thinks it is. Spoiler alert, I probably will. Because <laughs> it 100% looks like my, exactly my kind of game. But uh, anyway, I'm excited for it. Anyway, 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 anyway. Um, yeah, I think we're going to end stream a bit early tonight. Um, instead of trying to find something to play for only half an hour. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for joining me on this as we continue this mission. As we continue this mission. As we have continued this quest through the Tomb Raider franchise. Uh, I have plans for the future. Uh, Tomb Raider Tuesdays may not ever end, like properly end end. Because um, of course, as long as they continue to utilize the IP and create games under the label, I will continue to play them. 
and I will probably continue to stream them. Might take me a bit, because money is a bitch, but, um, yeah. So, uh, but occasionally it'll have, it might go on hiatus, which is what we're doing, which is what's happening next week, um, where I'm going to start playing Horizon Zero Dawn. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, um, but, uh, yeah, before we head out, I just want to remind y'all, check out the Patreon if you, if you're so inclined, it's a way to, it's a good way to support me. In addition to, I narrowly, that thing is, that thing was so fucking lucky. Anyway, um, the good way, the Patreon, patreon.com slash crimson night. It's a good way to support me, uh, in addition to, um, you know, being a viewer, if you so choose. And if not, that's perfectly fine. I won't hold it against you. Um, the uh you can find it if you go to patreon.com slash crimson knight um alternatively you could also check me out uh, check out my link tree link tree slash crimson knight um and uh in addition to a patreon link uh in there you'll also find links to my socials where you can get where you, where i post updates about my uh st stream schedules and whatnot and um my uh my socials, my Discord, where you can join my community, my uh, Twitch, where you can catch me live um, on Mondays, Wednesdays, uh, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, I almost forgot two greater Tuesdays in there. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, and on YouTube, uh, there's also a link in, uh, a link to my YouTube in there where you can catch the VODs of my streams uh, a week after I stream them. They're all available over there. Only downside is you don't get the live chat, but uh, you know, if you're actually watching this on, on YouTube, please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that stuff. Um, the uh, It helps out with the algorithm and et cetera, et cetera, so on and so forth. Um, but uh, yeah. Anyway, that's it for the night. We'll be back tomorrow with more Spyro Reignited Trilogy for Winged Wyvern Wednesdays. Um, and so until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all next time. I love you all. Yeah. <laughs>